This video is an addition to our JSOUP series and it is based on our last project. If you don't have that project, go and get it from link in description. Download it. Then restore it using SH recovery tool. You have to inject JSOP library every time before compiling the project. If we compile it as it is, It was working on my previous phone, but in my new phone, it throws an exception. Android.os.network on main thread exception. This exception is thrown when an application attempts to perform a networking operation on its main thread. To resolve that issue, we have to run our code in async task. See the code in comments. Copy it and paste it in a new ASD. We have to break it into a few several parts. First, we will break it from that doing background block. Our main task will be held there. So, we will paste remaining part below our task. You can see that result string dot set text. It will not work here because we have to update UI from our main thread. So we will remove it from here and we have it at the top inside our mod block. We want to do some updates after job is finished. So we will break it at on post execute. And then we will call our more block which actually updates our text with result dot set text that result is our edit text at our button go we was calling our more block but now we have to call the foo which method executes our async task so now our app works on new operating systems also but we want a new feature showing list of all links in a web page add new button On click we will set method true and uh, change visibility of linear true to gone. We need third section of our if else statement. So we will transfer this code from here to new ASD and Add that third section of our if statement in its place. So that doc is our document. From doc, we are selecting a tags. From a tag, we are selecting href attribute, which is actual link. And then we will create a string list and put 
all data and add we need a string variable href on each iteration we will first set the value to that string and put that string in a list let's close that for loop and at post execute f length of list is greater than zero that means list is not empty then we will add a list view and show links we have just fetched with our iterator in that list view while we are about to load new data we will check if list is not empty we will clear it so old and new data should not get mixed up we are facing these errors because there is one curly brace missing we have to add it while we are clearing list at this button we also need to refresh the list view and at this button we want to hide that edit text which is placed in this scroll view on other two buttons we will set we will set our scroll view visible so it won't bother us now inject the library compile your app and enjoy i hope you liked the video see you in next video till the See you in next video till then bye bye take care and allah hafiz